Hello everyone, I'm Sadek from EasyCourse. Let me introduce you EasyCourse course platform. So EasyCourse is a platform uh, for course creators using which you can create a, a course website and apps instantly. We have built this platform for you so that you can focus completely on your course instead of designing, developing, maintaining your course website and apps. So let's go ahead and uh, see how we can create a course from scratch. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a course in our website. So once you sign up, you will be able to see a dashboard like this. And once you are in here, you will be able to go to your all courses page. Uh, you can just go ahead and add a course. In our platform, you have two types of course for uh, for now. One is single course and bundle course. A bundle course is uh, combined with multiple courses together and you can offer some discount there. We, uh, let's go ahead and create a cre uh, single course. Let me uh, quickly fill up the form. So I have filled up the form and now I can go ahead and create the course. After creating the course, we can see the curriculum page and we have a create new chapter option. So a course includes uh, chapters and a chapter includes a lot of lessons. So let's go ahead and create a dummy chapter for now. Chapter description is important because uh, in this uh, description you can include what this chapter will cover. Now our chapter has been created already. Now let's go ahead and create a lesson for the chapter. We have right now eight types of lessons and we can create video lesson, text, PPT, PDF, audio, quiz, assignment and download. Download mean uh, you can include, uh, you can create a lesson that will be downloadable from the student end. So let's go ahead and create a video lesson. Here we can select a video and we have a very nice uh, select a um, gallery for uh, the media we can upload our custom video or we can include a video from youtube and we or we just need to pass the url from the youtube video and we can name however we like we can also do same for vimeo so if we add a custom video let's see how it looks like so this is how it looks like and if you do not want that we can delete that and we can just uh, add a YouTube video. In our future updates, we're going to have some kind of APIs using which you can fetch all of your YouTube uh, videos from a channel directly or a playlist directly from here instead of copy pasting all things. Now here we have an optional uh, op options uh, that is completely optional, include downloadable zip file. So if you include a zip file here, you, all your students will be able to download that. So let me go ahead and create a lesson. The lesson is uh, already created. We have some option at the lesson settings at the right. We have a draft. So if we do not want uh, this lesson to be published yet, we can make it draft. We can make it free preview for the students. So anyone that if this course is public, they, if they can read this course, they can see this lesson completely for free. We have also another option called prerequisite. In this uh, option, user has to complete um, uh, this lesson in order to move ahead and we can make this lesson as download level. We have also text lesson. In this lesson, you can create a long um, reach text with a lot of options. For example, heading, bullet, number, code, uh, and code block as well. Bold, italic, underline, and a lot of other stuff as well. And you can include a downloadable file as well. Uh, most of the lessons support this one. You can include a PPT, PDF, audio, and you can also create a quiz. Let me go ahead and show what you can do with our quiz um, platform, with our quiz actually. So if you go ahead with the quiz settings, we can see you can show answer uh, as soon as it is answered. So for example, you have uh, some questions set up for the students. And if the student answers something, he, uh, you can select when the student should see the answers of that questions. So if you select this option, then your student will be able to see the answer instantly. Or you can select that the student will be able to see the answer at the end of all the quiz. 
you can have a retake and if zero mean uh, unlimited um, uh, set zero to allow unlimited retake so you can up to have uh, one or as many retakes as possible you can shuffle your quizzes you have a nice settings here which is quiz time uh, you can set up time for per questions or you can set up a time for the whole question sets so let me go ahead and go through the settings of our quiz you have a basic, basic settings that you have already added from the previous page you have a landing page uh, we by default we have a default landing page and the URL is set to this you can click on it and you can see the course here so this course is not published yet so we do not see anything uh, at the moment and if you do not like to use this default uh, course details page what you can do is you can choose a custom page so for example these are my custom pages so I can just save uh, this one or if I do not like this one, I can just, uh, let's see if, uh, if this page is published. So this page is not published yet, so we cannot see. And if we do not like this page as well, we can just reset it to default one. So you have a complete option, however you like to set up your course landing page. So this is super, super flexible. In our next tutorial or other tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create an amazing landing page uh, using our drag and drop uh, page builder. Here, another thing is that you can set up your custom um, after checkout page. So, uh, if this is a course, people, uh, the student will be uh, uh, moving to the uh, course page in the dashboard. We have a very customized dashboard for all the students. So, if you do not want them to see the course, maybe let's say perhaps you want to, uh, we want your student to land on a custom page, let's say thank you page. So, you can select that as well from here you can have a you can create certificates as well and you can attach a certificates for example if you have created uh, your certificate you can attach that certificate uh, in this course so i just have one certificate called untitled for now so you can just save that and use it and then we have another option called course accessibility we can make it public private and hidden courses private courses are visible uh, in your website but it is not purchasable hidden course on the other hand is not visible but purchasable and your course status can uh, by default is set to draft you can uh, make it published here we go we have published our courses with a very limited uh, uh, type of lesson we just have let's say, make it a free preview for now and let's make uh, some more lessons Here we go. So we have created a uh, few lessons. You can create uh, more chapters as well. So let's go ahead and go to the trip. You can also do content your course. For example, uh, by default, it is uh, immediately uh, available. You can uh, drip your courses based on the enrollment based or specific date. So however you'd like. So you can select a date um, for different lessons and chapters. You can set a trip for the uh, enrollment base. So you can select after how many days of enrollment a student can access this particular lesson, okay? And we have a pricing section, which is really, really important. So you could set up this course as a free one, or you can set up as a one time, okay? And you can set up a subscription pricing as well. You can set the interval of your subscription um, course subscription days week month or yearly okay and you we have a very nice uh, options here one-time plan uh, tired pricing and the subscription as well the tired pricing so what is a tired pricing tired pricing is something really useful for the organizations buying your courses so let's say a team of uh, group wants to buy your want to buy your course uh, in in back so you can offer some kind of discount let's say your course normally co char, um, is sold for hundred dollar and if you say let's say if somebody buys two to five seats of your courses you are going to give it for ninety dollar now and now let's say if um, anybody you can create up to 20 tire so let's say uh, if anybody buys from six to ten seats you are going to give it for $85. That makes sense, actually. It's a win-win situation for the both parties. So instead of uh, 
people uh, copying, stealing the credentials of other students, you could offer a legal way to use multiple seats from the same purchase, one purchase. So you could, okay, you could say, okay, if anybody buys 11 to unlimited number of seats, you are offering them a $50. So you could set up it like this as well. And you have, this is one time, so people will see this one as an option and you can actually um, set up a subscription plan as well for the same kind of, uh, for the same uh, way. Okay, so for the subscription plan, people will be able to um, buy the seed plan that you have set up, but it will be charged with the interval that you have set up here. So we have four intervals now, so you could uh, set up uh, how many intervals, then you can also set up the frequency of the interval count. Okay, so we have seen how to set up a course in uh, in this course platform. So let's go ahead and then make, just let me make it to a free version for now. And let me go ahead in the website. Let's visit the website and see how does it looks like. If I go to the all products, so let's see which one I have set up uh, now. This one, okay, three lessons. So this is the default course page and we have set it up like that. And people can just enroll it from here. And since I'm only logged in, I cannot actually buy. If I even go to purchase, it will not allow me to purchase this course. So I can customize the look and feel of this one. If this will be covered in another tutorial, how we can cover uh, the designs of the pages and all those content. It is not fixed. You can design however you like. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In the next video, we will cover um, how to create uh, pages in our system. Thank you for watching.